Do I look good? Yes. Okay. Hello! <laughs> this is oh. my friend, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> this is my friend, um, Izuka Trashmouth. Izuku my trash mouth. And this is Try It Out. For this Try It Out, we're going to be trying out reading random sentences in books. And we're going to have a conversation by doing that. Yes. So I'm going to, uh, let's start. I'm going to be your therapist and ask you about your day. All right? Sounds good to me. And here's my question. Turn towards you. I gotta find the first question that I see. Oh no. If you had been a 15 year old girl and Mrs. Robinson was a Mr. Robinson, tempting you into a BDSM lifestyle, would that would have been okay? Respond. Can I add things to this? Uh-huh. All right, what if I, I'll just go to this page. You're so wet. So quickly. So responsive. Oh, Anastasia. I like that. I like that a lot. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> what a good answer. Next question. That's just how I feel about that topic. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find a question. That would be okay because... <laughs> Where is a question mark? There's no question marks. <laughs> just go to a page and find it. Anastasia? One. I hope I just... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, now, now different... you are my grandfather, and I am your niece. You are my grandfather, and I am your niece. That's not the... the I mean, granddaughter. Okay. Yes. It, it works. It's made sense in my head. Hi, Anna. He stops and reaches for a washcloth as I pant against him, wanting, needing. <laughs> Keep going. Keep doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, breathing do. hard, dragging <laughs> precious air into my lungs. <laughs> Oh, this feels good. <laughs> Cathartic. I, could, I feel my resolve hardening. Yes, I need him to tell what's okay. I need tell him what's okay and what isn't. Did it say I need tell him? Mm -hmm, I need tell him. Grandpa, stop showing me your penis. You're 18. <laughs> I am. But... Your speech was great, Kate. Christian wants to talk to you. Thank you. What, is, what, would, what would he? What would? What would he ever want to say to me? I know. That's the question. I'm okay. Understanding. He peers down at me. That's what he wanted to say. Oh, it's because he's talking to me. Ah, uh, yes. I also have the Jose issue. He's left me three messages and seven missed calls on my call. That is what it said. I wonder. <laughs> yes. In hindsight, it's good you didn't, because I'm going to do that again. He dips the plane once more until we are upside down. What does that mean? What is going on in this book? <laughs> what does that mean? Dip the plane. Is that a euphemism? Tell me. Because I've never heard it. I'm also. I'm almost outside with no panties. Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa, why are you wearing panties? They just. They hug. I assume you're not on the pill. I'm glad you can't read my mind. Uh, so we're talking about your panties <laughs> and that you're not on the pill. And you said, I'm glad you're not, you can't, you can't read my mind. So what do I say to that? Two. <laughs> okay. A slow, wicked grin spreads across his face. Good. And before my eyes, he subtly changes. He's harder. <laughs> In two weeks, he's far away. Hot. Get off the bed. Stand over here, he says. Are you just going to read the whole He page? points to the sides of the bed, and I scramble up and off in double time. 
He stares intently this down at me, his anymore. eyes glittering with promise. Trust me, he asks. I nod. I move forward, aware that I, Antasia Steele of Clumsyville, am in high stilettos, saying this to my grandfather. <laughs> grandfather walks gracefully over to meet me. You look stunningly, stunning, he murmurs, as he leans down to briefly, briefly kiss my cheek. Very tender. No doubt from his less than delicate treatment of them last night, he doesn't linger long. My cheek. What were you doing with my cheeks last night? Lingering long. He doesn't linger long and glides his hand down to my stomach and belly. I'm not sure about accepting money for clothes. That's what I say. That was completely unintelligible. <laughs> and made no sense with the scenario. Now let's, um... <laughs> You have to ask me a question with this, okay. and I have to respond with... Bill and Ted's Excellent Comic Book. Bill and Ted's book. Excellent Comic Book Archive. It is all of them, right? Yes. Awesome. All right, I'll ask you a question, and you have to answer, You have to find an answer that's at least that borderline least makes, makes sense, because okay. yes. the last everything else that's, didn't. Let me find something. You ask me a question, and then I'll ask you a question afterwards. We'll do the whole... Yeah, perfect. Uh, when are we going to talk about the limits? Dude, what about the chronological order? The end of all time? Yeah. Is it time over? Is it up? Is it up is perfect for this book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're being obtuse. Why did you want me to know? You will develop lung cancer in 1987. Let me just find something. <laughs> yes. You got my attention. But wait. <laughs> Hold um, on. Look at this page. Yeah, I was noticing that. Here, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go. We need a cameraman! We lost ours. We gotta zoom in on it. Station, station! Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, Billy! Oh, there, I can see it. Look at that! I can't think of a response when I'm staring at this. <laughs> Just gotta make it happen. Uh, you stole Deacon er, Deacon's Easter basket. Oh no way! Not Deacon. Not who the heck is Deacon? I don't know he stole his Easter ba Easter basket though. The camera's close to dying. Just so you know. This says Death wears funny shorts. Yeah, he does. What do you have to say to that? Oh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it saying? <laughs> I am doing that, yes, that's appropriate. Whoa, what did you say to me again? I said, death wears funny shorts. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? Don't frown. You gotta understand. We weren't supposed to let you know about our... No. <laughs> Shh! It can be dude. It can be dude. Lincoln's totally aghast enough. Besides, we're back in 1865. Now, Abe, let's not be most immature and try to run away. Abe Lincoln runs away. To which they probably reply to him as he runs away. This is not going to hurt, do you understand? To which he replies, Look, on stage, all the members of Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really <laughs> worried that this is dead. It is not. It's close, though. Alright, uh, let's do Should one more thing. make sure we don't One more anything. thing, I asked you. The wrong thing. Hmm, how does this work? I've only seen the training video. He's talking about a super easy cheese machine. In its death, that's speaking. Does this mean you're going to make love to me tonight? <laughs> I couldn't. I mean, why me? I've never done anything like <laughs> that before. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> it was also death. That's amazing. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> perfect. And there, uh, next time on cheese balls, cheese balls. Try it out. It's usually for cheese balls. <laughs> cheesy balls. I bet that happens in one of the Fifty Shades of Grey's.